The American West is one of the most desolate and beautiful locations I have ever explored. Vast swaths of wilderness full of wildlife make up the majority of the landscape, and Yellowstone National Park is perhaps the crown jewel of this part of the country. Our nation's first official national park, Yellowstone was originally preserved for its geothermal features. However, scientists soon realized that this place was also one of the last remaining strongholds of American bison on the planet. With only 21 pure bison found here in 1902, after unregulated poaching, intensive conservation efforts brought numbers up to over 1,000 individuals in a mere 50 years. This makes the Bison Restoration Program one of the most successful conservation initiatives of all time. And these animals are certainly deserving of the hard work that went into bringing them back from the brink of extinction and launching them into new status as our national mammal. The first true bison are thought to have evolved around 2 million years ago, and the ones we see now are virtually unchanged from specimens in the fossil record. These animals actually have relatively poor senses compared to other mammals, and are usually considered to be very nearsighted. While they do have an impressive sense of smell, it is not keen awareness of their surroundings that have made the bison so successful as a species. Then, and now, they rely on tight-knit herds and their massive size to keep them alive. Bison are the largest mammals in North America, with some mature males weighing over 2,000 pounds or 900 kilograms. But young bison are not nearly as sturdy as the adults, and can weigh as little as 30 pounds or 13 kilograms at birth. This is where the herd instinct becomes extremely important. All young bison will be their mother's shadow for as long as seven months, surviving off her milk before moving on to the solid plant matter that the adults eat. But a lone bison mother cannot deter predators such as wolves, which could easily distract her and steal the calf. Fortunately, in times of peril, the male bison will usually meet any danger head first, and may charge the threat to the herd at up to 35 miles per hour. Humans are also occasionally perceived as threats, and bison usually injure two to three people per year, many times more than the average of one person which is injured by a bear per year. Even so, these animals are usually gentle giants, preferring to graze without distraction from sunup to sundown. Adults can consume around 25 pounds or 13 kilograms of greens per day in the summer months which adds up to quite a bit of food per animal when you consider that they can live up to 20 years old. As of now, a pressing concern for scientists is that the bison population may grow too large and exhaust the National Park's plant food supply, which is also critically important for grazers such as pronghorn and elk. Because of this concern, it is not uncommon for bison to be moved off-site to keep populations stable at around 3,000 individuals. The only time of year when bison are not just gentle grazers is during the breeding season. Summer months usher in high temperatures and rising tempers, as male bison strut their stuff in hopes of attracting a female. They will wallow in dust baths during this time of year, both to cool off and make themselves look more impressive. Unfortunately, not everyone will earn the right to breed, and fights of a titanic scale are far from uncommon. Incredibly sturdy necks, thick skulls, and dense hair help keep these animals safe while they spar. Eventually, a winner is decided and earns the right to pass on his genes to future generations. Alright everyone, check this out. Now what this is right here is winter fur that a bison has actually shed, right? So every year during the summer when things start to warm up, they shed this really warm outer layer of fur and that helps them cool off 
and they can just kind of leave this behind. I mean, it will regrow every winter. Uh, and actually, when you feel it, it feels just like a sheep's wool, actually. It's very dense, but very small fibers, and that really helps to repel water during the winter. And it makes bison one of the very few animals that can actually stay in Yellowstone all winter long. Many other animals have to travel to different places, like winter grounds that are warmer, but bison have this just incredibly thick, incredibly dense outer layer of fur that keeps them warm during the winter. While bison are certainly an iconic American animal with some incredible adaptations, these creatures are also important due to their ecological niche. Their mighty hooves help turn over and aerate the soil, while their fecal matter fertilizes the grasses. Their stomping also causes insects living in the grass to take flight, providing food for animals such as cowbirds. Some of these birds have even taken up a life on top of the backs of the bison, cleaning off pesky insects and getting a free meal. This is one of the best examples of a mutualistic, symbiotic relationship that nature has to offer, as both animals benefit from their interaction. Well everyone, I really hope that you enjoyed today's episode, and learned something new about the American Bison. Make sure to check out my social media pages using the links in the description below, and subscribe to my channel for new wildlife content coming every Saturday morning. This has been Zeno of The Wild Report, signing out.